Hello everyone, this is Susie Q, Susie Q's Happy Little Haven, and welcome to my nursery room window. Today I have Maggie May with me and her baby sister, Abby Rose, and one of them is going to get changed today. Uh, and the one that's going to get changed is this little girl, um, Abby Rose, because I love the dress that Maggie May is wearing so much that I, I don't want to take it off of her yet. And so, but I wanted to change this little girl um, into a cute outfit. And what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to lay her uh, down right here for just a moment while I take Miss Maggie May off the uh, changing table and um, set her down so that she can wait for her little baby sister to get all changed. And so I just wanted to bring Maggie May on just to say hi to everyone and and hope that everyone's doing okay. Uh, we're all doing fine here. So let me just go ahead and put her down for just a moment here. And I will come right back and so we will see Miss Abby Rose. So here she is. Um, so Abby Rose is um, a very, very special sculpt. She was made by Ping Lao and uh, she was made specifically to be uh, Maggie May's baby sister. And um, not my Maggie May, of course, but um, she had made my Maggie May as the, uh, the Myla sculpt. And when she made this one, she made this one to be the Myla sculpt's baby sister. And so when I saw that, um, this is, this is the, um, she's called the Autumn sculpt, A-U-T-U-M-N. And when I saw her, of course, I just had to have her because, um, you know, it's like having a set, a sister set, uh, made specifically for each other. And I was so excited to have, um, both have them both in my nursery. So that's kind of the little story behind her. Um, so let me show you what I'm going to be changing her into. I'll put her down here. And this is a really cute outfit too. Um, my husband even commented on it. He, he said that she really looked cute in that. So um, so it must be a winner. But let me show you what I want to get her into. Um, this is a little bubble dress. And it's a cute little spring dress. It's sort of like an um, orangey pink, like a, a melon color, I would guess. It has little tiny flowers all over it. And then it's the hem is actually um, made to where it's sort of like a, a bubble down below there. And it didn't come with any um, particularly um, uh, specific matching bloomers. So I found a pair of bloomers that I thought would look really nice. And um, it's these melon col colored bloomers. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on her. And um, underneath, I'm going to be putting this little onesie on her. I'm hoping that the sleeves will go okay underneath these um, these butterfly sleeves. So um, if they don't, we'll, we'll make a change, but um, otherwise we'll go ahead and try it out. And this is really super cute. And then um, her shoes are these teeny tiny little uh, leather sandals. And I thought they'd look really cute with, with this dress. Um, these are, um, they're real leather and they're very, very thin, very delicate shoes. And they have a um, like a little tread sole, like, um, it feels like a vinyl sole on the bottom. Anyways, um, she has really tiny little feet and you'll see when I put these on and I'm not going to, um, put socks on her today, surprisingly enough. I just want her little feet to be inside of these. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I wanted to tell everybody, um, I'm not sh sure how it's been showing up on your channels, but uh, yesterday, um, I think it started actually the the night before, um, my, my YouTube channel, it kind of uh, switched over to my, um, I have a personal channel and then I have my YouTube channel. And it's for some some reason it converted uh, my YouTube my YouTube I couldn't get to my um, my YouTube channel that I'm using right now I could only get to my other channel 
And so I thought, oh no, what's, you know, I thought maybe I had been, um, you know, that I've heard that, that people have lost their YouTube channels before. And so I was really worried about that. And uh, so what I did was I, uh, using my other channel, I thought, well, maybe I'm just going to have to start over. So I started uh, resubbing to um, all my Dolly friends. And so if you happen to get another uh, sub from me uh, yesterday or even the day before, um, please just ignore that because I, um, I found... I found out how to switch back to this channel, um, but boy, that had me worried, and I thought, oh no, I'm going to confuse everyone, and um, my, uh, the way, when I subbed, what you will probably see, instead of Maggie May's little um, face on my sub, it'll be like a, it looks like a, um, it's a lily. Um, I had taken pictures of some lilies a couple of years ago uh, during, um, I think it was during the spring or summer. And I use that as my personal channel. Um, so anyway, um, yeah. so what I've been doing is, since I found out how to get back to this channel, I have started deleting some of the subs that I duplicated before. So I hope that's not confusing anyone. Um, I was just, you know, I was so concerned. I go, oh no, you know, please, <laughs> please don't let this happen right now. Uh, and I don't know what happened. Um, I, I don't know if it was me or if it was YouTube, I don't know. I have no idea, but I am relieved that I was able to um, get back to normal. And so, um, so here I am from my normal channel, so to speak, <laughs> my regular channel. So hopefully that didn't confuse anyone. And no, no one took my, you know, no, no one was using my channel. That was just me trying to uh, redo what I thought was lost. So that's a relief. Um, with everything else going on, I sure didn't need to have my all my Dolly friends disappear, you know. <laughs> that was not good. And um, I just realized that I forgot to bring Abby Rose's, um, her new bows. And so I'll, I'll find some, I'll, uh, when I get done here, I'll find some bows. But let's go ahead and um, get her little onesie off. Her, her, her little hands and her feet are so tiny. They're just so cute. So um, anyway, I wanted to say, too, um, some happy news is my daughter's birthday is today. And um, I am going to be making her um, a birthday cake. And I don't remember if I have shared with you before um, the, you know, our family's favorite birthday cake, but I'm going to share with, share it with you again, um, in case of, you know, my new subscribers that haven't heard about this cake. It's really a good one, and, um, it's every time a special occasion comes up, I get requests for it from, uh, from my family, so. Anyway, it, but it's a really simple cake. What it is, it's a, it's actually a box cake, a box cake mix. And um, it's, uh, I usually like to get a chocolate fudge uh, box cake mix. Um, this time, though, when I went shopping, there weren't any chocolate fudge cake mixes because it was during the time that people, were, you know, were buying a lot of things from the stores. And uh, so that one wasn't available. But I did get a devil's food cake mix, which is, you know, that's okay. So anyway, um, what I do is I take a box, uh, a Betty Crocker box cake mix. Those are my favorite because they're like super moist and um, really, really good. Take that and I, um, <clears throat> I line, let's see, I first I uh, spray, um, oil spray a uh, 13, by, 13 by 9 um, inch pan. I oil spray it and then I flour it and then in the bottom of it I put either um, usually I use wax paper and because uh, I don't have any of that other um, <clears throat> gosh I'm forgetting right now what that paper is called it's the baking paper you know that if you can put down and use for cookie sheets and um, 
baking pans and stuff, you know, to keep things from sticking. So then, you know, I do that. I put that um, on along in the bottom, not up the sides, just on the bottom. Then I make the cake batter, um, pour it in, and then I bake it as usual. And then I take it out, and after it cools, I take the, the cake out of the pan, which comes out really easily due to the fact that I've got the paper lining in the bottom. And um, I take it out, and then I have this special cake slicer um, that I that I cut I cut the cake lengthwise, so that I'm splitting it um, in two different length lengthwise um, pieces. And then um, before that, I have already made my um, I use instant banana cream pudding mix, so I make that up ahead of time, you know, while the cake's baking and stuff and put it in the fridge and then um, when the cake comes out it cools i you know i sliced it in half and then i put um, the banana pudding mix um, i spread it all inside the pan i'm sorry <laughs> forgot to tell you um, i first put uh, one of the you know the bottom layer back in the pan then i put the banana pudding um, on top of that and i put the the top of the layer on top of that and um you know, uh, then I, I frost it with, um, and I also like the, uh, it's Pillsbury uh, fudge icing. And I, so I ice the whole top of the cake with that, and I sprinkle, sprinkle it with, um, with chocolate chips. And boy, is it yummy. I'll tell you what, it is to die for. And it doesn't la last very long at our house at all. And um, I'm one of the culprits that, <laughs> that tends to, uh, to eat uh, more pieces than anybody. But anyway, so that's what I'm going to be baking this morning um, while this video is uploading. Because um, it'll give me something to do while it's uploading. Um, usually takes, like if this is a 20 minute video, it usually takes about three hours for my video to upload. And so I'm looking at the time right now, and right now it's 12 minutes, so... Hopefully we'll be done soon here. Get her all dressed up. Isn't that cute? Look at how that, even though these bloomers didn't go, they look really cute. So yeah, I try to keep my videos, um, you know, under 20 minutes. Sometimes I, it, it doesn't work out because of um, uh, the fact that I, I talk too much. <laughs> But um, anyway, yeah, the longer the longer my videos are, the longer it takes to upload. And uh, gosh, I had one experience. It was just recent. It was my last video. It took over three hours to upload. And then when it finally uploaded, it said that there was an error. And I had to re-upload. And so, you know, that's what happens to me. Um, living out in the country, we have satellite and um you know we don't have towers that we can get our internet from so anyway it's challenging so i wanted to show you her cute little feet look at those little things i mean they're just they're what about an <laughs> maybe is that even an inch yeah it's probably just over an inch long and they're just so darling the way that they're see the little toes Really super cute. Her hands are cute too. She's just a cute little baby doll. So I'm going to go ahead and put her sandals on. And then after that, I will get her bows. And I'm not going to forget her bows because, um, because I'm, I'm just that way. I wouldn't, you know, I, I, once I start combing her hair, I'll go, oh, you know, um, I got to remember her bows. Now, I know I forget a lot of things. Sometimes when I tell you what I'm going to be doing, but this time I'm not going to forget. So her little toes are uh, kind of curled up like I showed you, so they're a little bit challenging to get inside of her shoes. But I think we've got it. Tiny little buckles, too. Tiny, tiny. I have small fingers, and even these are challenging for me. But we got it. Yes, we did. Oh, those look cute. That's going to look really cute. Yeah, I just wanted to put something really light and springy on her today. Um, 
looks like the sun is out. I think you can see that coming through the blinds here, that the sun's coming out. And maybe we're going to have a pretty day today. Yesterday it rained all day, and it was gloomy, gloom and doom. So it seems like we're having rain every other day. Um, you know, thank heavens that this sun comes out once in a while to bring us some cheer. But then, you know, it's still soggy outside, so it's kind of hard to take walks and stuff because it gets really muddy here. We get a lot of rain. That's why it's so pretty and green when I show you videos um, of the creek and, you know, how green everything is. It's because we get a lot of rain. We get more rain than Seattle, Washington. For those of you that uh, live in the United States, um, it's that's a fact. Uh, West Virginia gets more rain than the state of um, than Seattle, Washington. So, and everybody thinks that Seattle gets a lot of rain, <laughs> which they do, but I think ours tops it all. Okay, real quick, I'm going to go ahead and get her the bag of bows. And here's my bag of bows. And I see the ones that I'm going to choose right away. That melon color. So I take those out. These are really neat. Um, I love that they have the cutouts. They have little cutouts in them. I think that's really cute. So yeah, we'll get our, our hair combed. I'll get my little comb out here. And hopefully I'm not going to lose the rubber band. I usually do. It's actually a uh, soft, a soft plastic band. There it is. Kind of blends in. It's, it's a see-through clear one. And so it kind of blends in with the um, patchwork quilt that she's sitting on. But I found it. So yeah, I'm looking at the, the time and we're, <clears throat> it looks like we're like seven, almost 17 minutes. I think I'm doing okay. So yeah, and I think this one's, well, no, I'm going to take it out too. I just noticed it was a little bit, just a little bit must. Love her hair. She's got human hair like her other siblings. Uh, she's by Emma Bennett. And, um, it's different colors, different shades of blonde. She's sort of a strawberry blonde, actually. She's got darker, darker tones of brown, um, I mean, blonde, and she's just got really pretty hair. Yes, she does. I wanted her hair to be the same color as Maggie Mae's since um, she's Maggie Mae's baby sister. So there we go. There's the little bows. Yeah, and I just wanted to have one of my happy girls on today. It just feels like a day that, that we need that. So here she is, everyone. Hope you enjoyed seeing little Abby Rose today. Her little smile and her, her cute little, her little dress and little sandals. So anyway, today's Saturday. Hope you um, all have a good day today. Um, thanks for stopping by. And... Um, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.